Hello guys, uh, had a request this morning on how to model this roof and uh, whilst it looks quite complicated it's actually deceptively simple so let's run through the process and uh, hopefully everyone else can learn a little bit from this as well. So uh, we start the process, that's, that's the final result, uh, let's go to the start. File new, uh, save it, no we're gonna, we've already done that. Construct roof and now we're not going to start with the outline, we're going to enable underlay and open an image file. The image file is this roof from Michael. Now um, it's a three-page PDF, so uh, the, the bit we want is the um, is the roof plan. Uh, unfortunately, none of this um, this set of drawings that was uh, obviously it's a subset. Um, there's uh, no overall dimension uh, of anything, which is a bit of a nuisance. So when we scale it, the best chance we've got is to use a rather short dimension, which increases the potential error in our scaling. But in any case, that's all we've got, so we'll work with that. We import uh, the first page, which is the roof plan, we hit OK. Right, it's now in. Um, we want to scale it, so we want to save this away. I'm going to save this away as job number two, hit OK. And press the button here to measure the existing coordinate. So we measure uh, from that end of the dimension. Uh, take care of this, especially when we've got such a short dimension to scale from. Get it as accurate as you can. Um, so that dimension was uh, 17 foot 5.5 inches. Uh, let's double check that. Just scroll to double check. Yeah, that's right. So uh, whatever it came in as, we want it to be that. So we hit scale. It is now the correct size. We select finish and we're ready to start digitizing this roof. Digitize. Uh, we're going to round to the nearest one inch and we're going to lock to uh, 45 degrees. Uh, where will we start? This is a good place to start. So come over here and select the corner carefully and we go up to the top and select that corner and then we come across here and get this corner and from there we right click and select close square. Uh, from the uh, information here it's a three inch in one foot. Why do they do that? It's 312. So we're going to do a 312. Uh, we've done the perimeter, so there's no overhang. We're going to do a metal roof. There's no gables. Uh, the eave height is 24 feet. Yeah, maybe that's about right. And uh, rafter spacing, don't care. And we hit OK. And it's just a hip roof, so we don't have to change anything else there. And we hit continue. Roof built. Right, so now we have to construct these bits. And it looks complicated, but actually it's like falling out of bed. We use the veranda simple function. Now, a bit of a trick here. I'll do it the wrong way first. It's saying do you want to attach the roof to the wall and I'll say yes. And it's now wondering if I want to attach it to any more walls. Uh, read the prompts it down here. It's telling you what to do. So uh, no, that's the one line we want to select. And we hit right button. Uh, whoops, I cancelled out of it. Sorry guys. <laughs> Pay attention. Yes. Uh, no more walls. Uh, no, which side of the wall roof is it? Left click there and notice it says first point, last point and that allows us to measure a distance relative to the first point and last point. Uh, we want the slope to be the same as the main roof and we want a hip at each end which is what we've got selected already. The height at the wall. So that's the height of the veranda at the intersection between the roof or wall and the veranda. So first I'm going to measure the distance. So we measure the distance, zoom in, get close and close to the action uh, to about there. Now that's to the nearest 13 sixteenths. Uh, I guess I guess that's probably near enough to to, um, to seven. And then we measure the other end from the last point. Come back in here and from there to there, uh, 37 64ths. Uh, I reckon. I reckon that's probably about 55 foot 10. And we hit preview, 
and the roof goes in. Now you can see that's probably a bit shy. So maybe that's 56 feet. We'll go to the two minute, we'll try that and see. So this is the preview. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. And if you, you just keep changing it until you're happy. And if you reckon it's an inch or so out here or there, we'll make the change. It's not hard. And, uh, and then you'll get it right. So we'll take an inch off, preview that. And it's a bang in the middle of the line. So you can see it uh, shows you what's going on. So once you're happy with that, we hit OK and the veranda is built. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It made it the wrong width. Oh, God, pay attention, Ray. Righto. So on the wall, yes. And which side, yes. And the depth of it's the other thing we want to get right. So we're going to measure the depth, which is from there to there. Uh, that's probably about five feet, I reckon. And uh, do you remember what those ones were? And see, now I don't have to do it again. So uh, from there to there, uh, what do we decide? That was going to be 10 foot 7, didn't we? So it's 10 foot 7 inches. And the other end was 55 foot uh, 11 inches. Preview that. That's better. And we hit OK and the roof goes in. Now, go to the isometric view and you'll see we've got a line there. And that's because we selected the wall line to attach the, the veranda to and not the eave line. So we go to the modify roof, uh, merge planes and merge that plane with that plane and now it's one plane. Okay, so let's do the other side. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we go to construct roof, veranda, and this time, instead of selecting the wall, say no to that, select the fascia or eave line. And we'll say yes to that. So, um, any more lines to attach to? No. So right click. Uh, which side of the line is it? Left click there. And now we want to know the depth of it. So we want it, the depth will be from there to out to there somewhere. So, uh, that's probably 16 foot 6. So we'll go with 16 foot 6. And these measurements are a guide. So you use your common sense. If uh, you reckon it's got to be an inch or so here or there, we'll, we'll make it that. Um, the eave height's still the same. So that's the height at the wall. It's not the height at the gutter. That's, that's the gutter height. We want the wall height. And the wall height is the same as the height of the main roof. We want a hip at each end, hip at each end. And we're going to measure the distance from the first point. It says first point there, so you know you're measuring the right place. So there, uh, 18 foot 11. Yeah, okay, we'll go 11. Actually, it's probably more like 10. Let's, let's make that 10 inches. And then we measure. Now, this is, this is the little trick. You see, that's the last point. But instead of coming back from there, we want to go out from there. So we just measure from there to there and it's probably about two feet my guess is yep so we'll go two feet and we'll preview that now if you want to just pop out a little bit and see what's going on there we go and, and you go oh hang on that's not right jack so what we really want to do is make that minus two feet do that again and it goes the other way there you go if we're happy with that we hit ok and because we selected the wall, uh, the eave line, it's do you want to say merge it? And I'll say yes. So that just saves a step and it makes it very simple. Now the other thing we've got to do, notice that these barge lines go into um, another wall somewhere. I presume that's what's happening. So we use the modify roof, extend barge. I'm going to extend that barge um, in the five feet. That's about right. Extend that one in five feet. Uh, down here we want to extend that in. I'm going to guess that that's a uh, one foot bar. Just see how it is. We can measure it if we want to. We just go measure it, measure from there to there. Uh, yep, near enough to one foot. Uh, so we'll go one and hit OK and we'll project that barge in there. OK, done. So now it's just a matter of adding this sucker. Now, uh, the easiest way, you, you several ways of doing it but the easiest way since we're in the modify roof function modify roof uh, along this eave line we want to add a porch I uh, beg your pardon a dormer so it's going to be a hip dormer the slope is the same as the rest of the roof 312 and the distance to, is distance to the edge or distance to the center so if we go distance to the center and then measure it it'll be from that end to the center so near enough to f f 45 foot 6. 
uh, set back from the eave and and I've done this once already so I'm not going to make this tedious and you watch me measure stuff but you use the measure tools and you measure all those things and then once you reckon you've got it right you hit preview now right now there's no gap in there so we want this to be from there to there we want a gap to be built so the gap width will be the same as the um, same as the dormer width we'll put that in there and so that the width of the dormer plus the 5.6 side overhang preview that okay so now you've got a line in there telling you that it's going to build to there uh, so let's go through distance to the center of the dormer the setback from the eave is from there back to here uh, the dormer width is from there to there um, the front overhang is from there out to the front and when you preview it you'll see whether you've got that right the gap is the same as the width of the dormer it creates this gap in here and the offset of the gap from the eave well it's at the eave so that'll be zero and we hit OK and it's built that's it jobs done as easy as that and it's uh, provided we scaled it correctly it's absolutely spot on okay I hope that helps and if there's any other questions give us a ring at any time thanks guys